How you doing? I'm Mike Gaddy and welcome to COVID and Events Industry Updates. This week, this week I am back in my office and studio in Baltimore, Maryland, fresh from a trip to San Jose, California and the Bay Area Travel and Adventure Show. And it's California I want to spend a minute talking about today because in the last couple of days, their COVID, new infection COVID uh, cases have climbed, which is after months of being some of the lowest transmission rates in the country. It's concerning because California has a 72% vaccination rate for people who are eligible as of today, for people who are eligible to receive the vaccine and they have some of the strictest measures at events and businesses in the United States. In fact, they were checking COVID vaccination cards and required masks at the Travel and Adventure Show. That surprised me. It did not surprise my local assistant who said she had to flash her COVID vaccine card pretty much wherever she went. So the fact that there's an uptick, albeit a small uptick, over the, next, uh, over the last couple of days has actually caused Gavin Newsom, the California's governor, to come out and ask for even more stringent following of safety measures. The U.S. is beginning to welcome back fully vaccinated travelers and the restrictions are being lifted or at least loosened as of November 7th, allowing more international travelers to come to the United States. They'll still have to receive a negative COVID uh, test uh, three days prior to travel and they'll have to flash their COVID vaccination card, but still the restrictions for both business and leisure travel are being loosened for 30 countries worldwide coming to the United States. That's good news for events. Remember in last week's episode, I talked about how international events and international business conferences in particular were showing a 50% decline in participation rates over events that happened prior to the pandemic. The attendees were still registering to attend the event and even paying for it they just weren't showing up perhaps this loosening of the travel restrictions will help that happen rates for international travel continue to tick up however and um, the international airline trade association expects to see a 30 percent increase in international airfare travel prices before the end of this year. That's it for COVID and events for this week. Next week, I anticipate being back here in the studio. Please join me as I give you my take on what's happening with COVID, the return to events and business right now in fourth quarter and going into next year, 2022. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.